Wizards, Witches and Muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Boy, have I got a tale for the advent calendar that we're opening today. I was browsing Amazon and I was like, oh, a Harry Potter advent calendar that I've never seen. It's a good price. It's only like 20 pounds sold and I bought it and here it is. So this is the advent calendar that I bought. I was like, oh, it's got the foiling. It looks amazing. I'm very excited because I'm pretty sure it opens like that. And it's a stationary one as well. And you guys know, or you should know by now that I am a big fan and lover of stationery. Now, this arrived very oddly wrapped. It was in brown paper. It was basically like it was sent in the outpost, which is I'm kind of digging it to be fair but yes it was wrapped in brown paper with sellotape and I was like this ain't feeling like Amazon to me um no well that's because it wasn't this was sold to me by an individual seller on Amazon didn't know and when it arrived I was just like okay I was like what is this mysterious ripped off sticker I was like that that there looks tampered with to me. And then I turned it over and then I saw this. I was like, that's another ripped off sticker, but I can tell it's a Primark label and it's 12 euros. So there's the little story. So if you want to know what is inside this calendar, then keep on watching. And hey, if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because I'm ready to see if this is worth it. All right then, let's take a closer look at this calendar. So here it is. This is the front of it. And there's a few things that I have to open. So I'm actually going to cut through the paper here because I think that's meant to come off. Aloha Mora! Ooh! 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 I mean, it's a very impressive looking thing. We've got things over here and all throughout. This, <laughs> I think that glue's kind of come undone a little bit. But either way, we've got, we've got a Hogwarts. We've got a big moon behind it. And I do like the overall design of this advent calendar. So let's start shall we door number one okay then so let's get started with door numero uno okay here it is Ooh, what is this this is a pencil sharpener it's really nice and shiny with hogwarts on there there you go there is the back the only thing that's a little bit odd that it doesn't have like a base on do you remember getting sharpeners that would just hold the sharpening trimmings what are they called sharpenings <laughs> but yes either way this is actually something that i will get use out of i tend to only use sharpeners for eyeliner pencils these days and this is a cute one so i kind of like that i think that's cute that can go into my makeup drawers okay door number two I swear to God, has this been like tampered with? I feel like I've just been given coal for Christmas. It must be in there somewhere. I'm investigating. Oh no, I think things have just fallen out. One moment. Okay, let's try that again. So door number two, I've now fixed. Ooh. Okay, so this is a Slytherin eraser or rubber as we call them in England. Um, it's quite cute. It's a little snake. Um, I would have really liked this if I had a pencil case and I actually used erasers, but I don't. But either way, that is quite cute. We know that this is a stationary one, so there we have it. Okay, door number three. I'm now worried that all of these have fallen out, but we're just gonna, we're gonna try. So here it is, number three. Oh, is it a magnet? It is a magnet and it's one of those kind of like clear enamel ones, which are always really shiny. They look like, almost like, water glass or something and they have these little little books in there so it's a old book in there and i think that's all it is it's just books maybe there's a wand on there as well but it's a cute little magnet to keep your notes safe on your whoop she lost it come back i got it but yeah it's a cute little magnet these are quite useful for sticking things onto your fridge okay number four there's got to be something good in number four 
Oh, oh, don't think that's meant to be slid over there. Okay, we've got another eraser and this time it's Gryffindor. So yes, we've got a little lion emblem there. It's quite a chunky little eraser as well. Oh, maybe we're gonna get like a full set of them now that we've got the Slytherin one as well. Door number five. Ooh, oh my God. Oh, okay, this is some golden tape. I feel as though they could have made it speller tape. They had the option there to make it spello tape. And I mean, don't get me wrong, gold tape's nice. Will I use it? Yeah, probably. But they could have made it spello tape. They, they missed a shot there. But either way, a bit of gold tape. Number six, we've got a long one. Whee! Okay, we've got ourselves, oh, a pen. Cannot complain about a pen. Get out! Okay, oh, it's a Ravenclaw pen. That's quite pretty, actually. Is it just a ballpoint? It is. There we have it. It's a ballpoint pen. Uh, it's got quite a nice, you know, when some lids just feel like, like, I feel powerful with a pen that clicks like that. Like I'm ready to write some things. So yes, we've got a Ravenclaw pen. Right, number seven. Ooh, seven's even longer. Like, is it a really, really long pen? A very, very long Hufflepuff pen. Uh, this is better than a Hufflepuff pen. Swish and flick. <laughs> this is a golden wand and it is a pen. Oh, that's nice. Why do I love that? Like it's tacky but I kind of really love it as well. Like, I'm not mad about the golden wand. Like, this is going straight onto my desk. I'm not gonna lie. Like, golden wands, there needs to be more of those. That's very cool. I like that. I'm surprised that's number seven and that wasn't like day number 24 or 25. There is 25 in here, but yes, a golden wand pen for all your magical writing. Number eight then, it's gone to a slightly smaller door. What is it? Is it a highlighter? I mean, I do like highlighters. I'm like highlighter queen. I'm queen of organization. And if you're gonna make my organization that little bit more magical, I'm not gonna complain. So here it is. It's just a normal green ooh, highlighter, but it has a sort of like magical star sticker on it. Eh. It, it's one of those items where they've just stuck something on to make it magical. But either way, mini highlighters, I'm not mad about. You can take them in your purse. Am I one of these people that will put highlighters in my handbag if I know I need to do organisation on the go? Yes, I am. And I am not sorry about it. Door number nine then. Give me the goods. <laughs> of course, it's another highlighter. This time in fluorescent yellow uh same sticker as the green one i mean if they give us a full set of these i'm gonna be pretty pleased because as i said highlighter queen right let's move on to door number 10 we're speeding through this one what are they, what is this oh it's that it's that book logo again it's like old fashioned books and it's a paper clip to keep all of your very important papers together you could also use this as a bookmark because it's got books on it and just slip it over the page but yeah so there's a little a little nifty thing door number 11 ah at last we meet again hufflepuff we got a hufflepuff eraser it's about time we had something hufflepuff there you go we are, we're gonna get the full set. I just need the Ravenclaw one now. Okay, door number 12. Okay, right, I think this was meant to be in there. Oh, these are cute. These might be my favorite thing so far. These are two paper clips uh, and they're in, they're golden and they're like a lightning bolt. Oh, they're so cute. Or you could like stick one to your head and like, no she went weird but yes i really like those uh i would definitely get use out of those those are so cute they're so simple but they're very very sweet i really like those staying over here we've got door number 13 oh my god oh oh what are these oh cool i was like what is that these are push pins little push pins for a cork board i like how they've packaged those on like foam to kind of protect them. I was like, are they for enamel? Didn't want to talk about them anyway. <laughs> Come back. Oh, okay. I 
as I was saying, I thought they were like four enamel pins. And I was like, but where's the backing? But yeah, so they're like a magical star kind of thing. Right, let's move on then to door number 14. Oh, it's so small. It's a really tiny one. Ah, another magnet. Okay, so this magnet is quite cute. I like that design. It's Hogwarts again with like the full moon and I love the moon. It's very cute. These are quite sweet. These are definitely going to end up on my fridge. You can never have enough magnets. It's like socks. Door number 15. Good size. Oh, <laughs> it's a little circular notepad. This is cute. It's got many pages. Oh, they're post-it notes, so they stick as well. I like the sticky ones, and I quite like that this design isn't too much that you can write over all of it, so you don't just have, like, the white bit of the sky to write in. So, yeah, it looks the shape of a moon as well. Cute. Door number 16. Oh, cute. It's a stamp. I love stamps. <laughs> okay, so here's the little stamp. This is the design on the end, and then you just take the lid off. Oh, it's red as well, like a wax seal. Okay, let's test it. Right. I'm gonna stamp. Oh, no, she stamped too hard. <laughs> let's do a gentle stamp. Oh, that's better. Just don't be aggressive, and then it works. So this is, <laughs> ignore the splodged one, but yes, no, that does work. <laughs> Let's test it. <gasps> right, door number 17. Oh, it's another missing one. Right, I fixed it. Door number 17 is more cute little, mm, they're stars, they're little star paper clips. Apparently I'm very easily pleased when it comes to golden paper clips in cute magical shapes. Those are adorable, I really like those. Moving on to door number 18. Ah, how cute. These are like good for studying, not that I study anymore, but these are like page tabs and we've got all of the Hogwarts houses as well as some Hogwarts castle ones as well. So little page tabs, those could be cute, especially if you're making like notes in a book if that's your thing. Let's move on to day number 19. It's another really long one. Oh my god, if they give me another golden wand pen, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, oh. Almost, it is golden, but it's actually two pencils. <laughs> I'm a walrus. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Ugh, or put them in my mouth. So here we have it. We've got some magical pencils, and I can use my magical pencil sharpener because they need sharpening. So we've got a plain gold one, and on this one we've got broomsticks, stars, wands, sorting hats. I'm surprised they haven't put, like, golden snitches on those, to be fair. But either way, is there a golden snitch? Am I? Mm, I don't think there is. There's Felix Felicis on there. Well, either way, we didn't just get one pencil, we got a set of two, which is pretty generous for a door, to be fair. Let's move on to day number 20. This one I did spoil myself with when I was fixing this side, but it's pretty cool because they are Hogwarts miniature bulldog clips, and you don't just get one you get four and these are very very useful actually so here we have them i like that i've got some magical bulldog clips they're going straight into my office i really like the little golden ones we've got like a little hogwarts like stamp on there which is quite cute so love that okay what's in day number 21 oh another good sized one down here okay we're in oh it's a ruler. It's got gold on there. We've got Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hogwarts, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. It's actually a really useful size having one that small because I do not have one um, except like the really big one or tape measures. So there we have it. Door number 22 is probably... Besides 25, it might be one of the biggest windows on this calendar. So let's see what it is. Oh, that's cute. It's another notepad. It's a to-do list and it's got the night bus on it. It says emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. And yeah, we've got many pages to use on there. That's cute. Again, that design, it's a little bit dark for it to be clear when you're writing on it, but I do like the design. Number 23. Okay, we're getting there. You know what? These are really nicely designed. They are just stickers, but they're quite nice stickers. Okay, we get even more than we'd bargained for. We actually get 
two sheets, which is pretty cool. They've got foiling, we've got each house, we've even got the sorting hat. They're quite cute. They would look nice as like faux wax seals on envelopes to people. You can just put a sticker on there, very cute. Okay, door number 24 then. Oh, fail. Ah, there it is, the mysterious Ravenclaw eraser that we've been waiting for so that we can finish our set. Here it is, here's the Ravenclaw one. I do like the kind of shiny print. Okay, the finale. <laughs> Let's open door number 25 then. Da, 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 da. I just broke the candle. And we have, as our final piece, um, quite a nice notebook. It kind of looks like a little passport. It's like a pass, a wizarding passport. And it's lined. Okay, this is cute. Nice size, good for bags. Lined, which is what we like. I like the design of it as well. I think that's a pretty good thing to have in the final door, to be honest. But it's not just about my opinion, it's about yours. Let's take a look at everything that we got in this calendar and to see if it would have been worth it for the 12 euros that it should have been. Alrighty then, this is everything from the advent calendar and it's quite the stationary haul. What are my favourite things from this calendar? Well first things first I definitely think these cute little paper clips. They filled me with magical joy. I also really liked the golden wand pen. It felt jazzy, it felt really bougie and extra, and I'm here for it. What else were my favorite things? I think, yeah, the paper clips and the wand. I did actually quite like the notebook that came out of it as well. As a cute little stationary calendar, and for the price, which should have been 12 euros, I do actually think that this was worth it for a decent little bit of stationery, like a stationery kit, if you didn't have too much of this already. I feel like some things could have been thought out a little bit better, like the high highlighters, the stickers, bit of a miss for me. This should have been Spello tape because of course it should have. But yeah, there are definitely things that I am going to use, mostly the pens, the paper clips, and even these tiny little bulldog clips I thought were cute as well. But hey, as I said, it's not just about my opinion. What do you guys think? Is this a cute advent calendar? It's not available anymore because it was clearly an old Primark calendar. Maybe they'll come out with a new one this year, which who knows? Let me know in a comment if they did. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed opening all 25 doors of that Amazon slash Primark Harry Potter advent calendar with me. But yeah, give the video a quick thumbs up and I'm going to find homes for all of this. But thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!